They stand well at the 1800. And away in their racing, the favourite Birdie Eagle flew out of the gates, landing clearly in front. Jumping well also, loose box, Tenor Q2, up there, double digit, Cisco J, Weapon Sun out very wide in the run along Matheson Road early, followed by Roman Flirt, and settling down there last is Rationale. They haven't gone overly fast by Northerly Lodge, they head now by the 1400, Birdie Eagle with his mouth wide open, on the far corner, leads the way, locked down in front, out by three quarters to double digit, Cisco J parked up on the fence for Carberry in third spot, then Weapon Sun travelling fourth. They're a length and a half clear next of all from on the inside sluice box is back there with tenor kutu and roman flirt is back in company as well with rationale along the riverside they go towards the 1000 mark and birdie eagle with the neck arched and the ears pricked is doing it effortlessly in front out there by three quarters of a length running second double digit cisco joe getting a lovely drag into the race down on the inside third just in front of weapon son they're followed after a length and a half behind those next of all sluice box from tenor kutu and then came Roman Flirt with Rationale still back there last and about five or six lengths from the leader who's been rated at a very controlled tempo 550 from home and Birdie Eagle will come towards the home turn left the riverside snuck a length and a half clear double digit Carberry's pushing Cisco Joe out off the fence now he was able to get off the back of Birdie Eagle and so he's about to now quickly close in around the Weapon Sun takes off Birdie Eagle led Cisco Joe the immediate danger with Weapon Sun down the outside they've broken away Away this trio at the 200 Cisco Joe the first to feel the pinch Weapon Sun races up grabs the lead Bird Eagle tries to come back with Cisco Joe but Weapon Sun's going to pull away and Weapon Sun although he didn't have the near four shoe it mattered nearly at his running shoes on and that was what mattered most he won their Weapon Sun from Bird Eagle and Cisco Joe followed then by Rationale Tenaku two behind them was Sluice Box followed further back to Roman Flirt and double digit Weapon Sun Taj Dyson is the winner of the Glenroy Chaff Handicap. Gave him a terrific ride as well for Danny Morton, Weapon Sun, who's been nothing but consistent. Three wins, two seconds past five runs here for the Oratorio Gelding. Certainly has found his niche. And uh, despite that little setback prior to the start there where a shoe came off on the prelim, it mattered naught. Weapon Sun beats Birdie Eagle and Cisco Joe. And fourth is number seven, Rationale, in a time of 149.91. 149.91, a length and a half, a half ahead with the official margins. The winner race by G. Lilliman, G. Bugle Hull, G. Novak, Rob Humphries, and Amy Evans, Michael Folds, R. West, Mrs. N. Verit, J. Proctor, R. Trigwell, G. Cooper, M. Cross S. Brooks. Trained by Dan Morton. He's an Oratorio Weapon S gelding with win number eight from 41 starts. A really good money spinner. And this victory this afternoon pushes his prize earnings up beyond 400,000. He's got a bit of West Speed bonus money in there as well. So he's nearly a 450,000 stakes earner all up. Taj Dyson aboard. Home in 35-4-0. Beating Birdie Eagle by my admiration from Capita Mac. Owned by Steve Kilner, Neville and Carolyn Parnham. Trained by Nev and ridden by Brad Parnham and Cisco Joe. A vital equine walk in beauty gelding. Bernie Miller prepares for M, Mrs L Jones, DG, Mrs D, Gatty, Mrs L and B, Pablo and the Bells Park Syndicate. Patrick Carberry there in the saddle. Got off the fence at the right time and just started to really plateau and ground away in the last 100. Weapons Sun parked in behind them in the sweet seat and has delivered once again. Race five, the key clean handicap. It's over 1,000. The next and number one is out. Moi Shu from race five on the card. Let's uh, head downstairs and we'll catch up with Britt joining us in the yard. Not quite sure where Dan is, but he won't be too far away. Yes, he's making his way over now. We spoke to him earlier today. We said hopefully it could be a treble and he was keen on top of the pops later today. Well, Danny, that's two from three. Just one more to go. Yes, I had no pressure now. What um, about this horse? We saw the shoe be pulled and the clerks of the horses were looking all over the track to see where he'd lost it in his preliminary. Were you concerned by that? I actually didn't realise until they were going in the gate. So, yeah, they're obviously overrated. We'll just take the rest of them off. Clearly, they didn't need them today. 1,800 metres. What were your thoughts going into the race about the journey? 
Uh, I've, I've loved his, you know, all his wins or even when he's been beaten, he really, he really attacks the line. So, um, you know, it was a bit of a, not a risk, but it was a bit of a, you know, wait and see sort of thing. But he, again, he just really was strong through the line. So um, I'd like to think that's not the end of him either. Do you think he can get out even further? Uh, he relaxed beautifully then for Taj. It was a smart little ride, actually. It wasn't easy for him early, but he was able to sort of end up in a really nice spot. And, um, yeah, like he switched off nice. So who knows, he, he, he might get a bit further. Well, he ticked the box massively today. When you were rounding for home, were you confident that he'd be able to run over the other two? Yeah, um, so, you know, the one inside of him got a nice um, exit top of the straight, which, you know, gave everything a chance, but he was just too strong. It really was. Good luck with the uh, top of the pops to make it a treble later. Well on this one. Thank you. There is Danny Morton. Brings up a double there with Weapon Sun. And this horse has gone great guns since joining his yard. A really consistent type. And adds even more options for Danny from a placement point of view, Scott, now that he ticks that 1800 metre box and the way he ran through the line, potentially even further. Exactly right, and it was a, a nice ride by Taj Dyson because in the first stages, the first sort of 200 metres, he was being held out three deep, but then when Cisco Joe went to leaders back to follow Birdie Eagle, it worked out quite nicely. Taj was able to slot in one out, one back, and we'll ask him about that. Now, Taj, first 200 metres, it looked like you might be three deep. Uh, yeah, it definitely looked that way for a little bit, but. Um we just had to think it through and we ended up with 1-1, which was Grouse, and um, travelled nicely. And when it came to doing the job, he really lit down well. He really covered them quite quickly, both Cisco Joe and Birdie Eagle, didn't he? Yeah, really easy. Um, I didn't expect him to put them away that nicely, but um, looks like he might get a bit more ground over time. And no, he just tries 100% every time. About the rest of the day, Ambergate Rose looks like a bit of an each-way chance later in the day. Yeah, she's an each-way go, as long as my saddle don't slip on it again. That's my fault, though. But no, she's an each-way go as well. Congratulations, well done. Thank you very much. There is Taj Dyson describing it as grouse. I like that. Weapon Sun takes out race number four for Danny Morton, who brings up a double.